Introduction to the Paintings of Carlo Basilico from an essay by Claudio Guarda. A revision and translation of the video, La Pittura di Carlo Basilico, created by Marcus Otz in 2019. His paintings run on the thread of a personal diary created in his leisure time and during breaks from work. In the days of spring, on hot summer afternoons, in the foggy autumns of Chiasso, after the first snowfall. Carlo Basilico, painting like the pages of a personal diary. Life, training, and profession. Carlo Basilico was born in 1895 into a working-class family in Rancate, near Mendricio Ticino. His father, Adolf, came from Ceriano Laghetto, province of Monza and Brianza, in Italy. His mother, Cecilia Luizoni, from Stabio, Ticino. At the age of 14, he left for Turin, where he worked during the day, and in the evening, attended the Technical Labor Schools of San Carlo. In 1915, he obtained a diploma in ornamentation, for which he was awarded with the silver medal. This honor opened him the door to the studios of the Turin painters, Smirillo and Cornelia. The ambition to become artist painter is already present during his training. In 1916, at the height of the war, he returned to his family in Rancate. Initially, he worked with the painter Cesare Rusca from Ligorneto. In 1918, he joined the decoration company of the painter Pietro Prada, based in Via Cantoni in Chiesso. In 1920, he married Irma, daughter of Pietro Prada. And in 1922, their daughter Graziella is born. After the death of his father-in-law in 1926, he takes over the management of the company and leads it through the great crisis of the 1930s. These are 10 difficult and hard years, but they did not prevent him from creating a beautiful series of paintings and being a member of the Ticino Society of Fine Arts. to participate at the annual art exhibitions in Lugano, at the House of Art Zurich in 1930 and 1945, and at the Swiss National Exhibition in Zurich 1939. Between painting and ornamentic, different approaches for art and decoration. After the initial portraits, self-portraits, and academic black and white model studies, the first expressive character depictions emerged. The gaze stretched towards the art. already manifesting also the truest and most hidden soul of the colorist who shows ranges of color and tones on landscapes, domestic milieus, home corners, and family members.
While his ornamental production adapts to the styles and taste of the moment, much to the satisfaction of his clients. Painting techniques. It is in the nature of Carlo Basilico to express himself with different techniques. The drawing, sensitive, light, and tender, catching his wife as she sleeps. Essential, energetic, and sculptural when it seeks to fix the forms of his grandchild. Powerful, hard, and secure, as if operating with a metal pen when he gives body to pain. Or reduced to the essentials with the result of an astonishing modernity. Watercolor, which proceeds by spots, soft, light, and atmospheric. Or through the low tones of the winter light. Or the stroke of light on the reflective surface of the persimmon fruits. alternating the calm of a landscape with a row of vines in the foreground. To the flickering of a boat that sails away. To the silence around a figure. painting moments. His painting is dominated by a colorism, which is unusual in our latitudes. The pure basic colors taken unmixed from the palette, applied with quick and confident brush strokes transitions on the counterpoint between areas of light and shadow. Delicate highlights, tiny splashes of color, pastel tones, and shades, and colorful shadows. But then also, bright color, almost unnatural, with more intense expressive brush strokes, the colored shadows, and the play between the color combinations. Dramatic tones, Weak and unsettling in the difficult years of the Great Depression. And this in contrast to past sensitives and emotional sweetnesses. And domestic intimacies modeled with dabs of color and light. which he later rediscovered in the course of the 50s. Lively and vibrant in the hatching and mobile in the sign. Themes and subjects of painting, portraits and self-portraits, landscapes, domestic milieus, and family members The great affection for his mother, Cecilia. The continuous investigation into himself, both on a physical as much as on a psychological level. The loving look on family harmony. the contemplation of the domestic milieu.
and his great passion for landscapes. These are the themes and forms of Carlo Basilico's art, always inspired by the feeling of true and supported by contemplative and meditative gaze, which, while emphasizing light, color, and sign, captures the true in its fleeting moment. It is not a question of painting life, but of giving life to painting. Pierre Bonnard, 